poop. It's sometimes brown, it's sometimes gross, but it is always full of power. Hey Poopers, Trace here with some updates from D News. How do you feel about poop? Probably the same way most of us feel. Get it out of me and then put it over there, somewhere else. Somewhere where I don't have to see it or smell it. But feces, while gross, contains so many crappy little secrets, you guys. Literally secrets within the crapola. A new secret came to light out of the backside of a panda recently. These adorable giant balls of bamboo swilling fluff can produce 48 pounds of waste every 24 hours. Inside of that pile of hope, researchers at Mississippi State University and the Memphis Zoo discovered there are more than 40 microbes that will help make biofuel easy to manufacture and cheaper. Biofuel like ethanol is usually made of corn, right? So the stalks aren't that efficient for companies to want to use them. They're too tough to break down. Pandas, however, they eat these stalks for breakfast. Like, literally, they could actually do that if they wanted. The bacteria in the guts of pandas could be used to help break down these high cellulose plants and use them for biofuel making. What else can we use poop for? Well, the main energy extraction from poop is methane, and the oldest way to get that is to throw digested bacteria into waste, like with cows, for example. The bacteria eat away at the waste, sucking in the cow poop and pooping out methane themselves. Farms in Vermont have been using this method of power generation for a while now, and they're producing excess of their need, so they just send it to other homes in the area. Cow poop plus bacteria equals poop power from farms. What about human poop, you ask? <laughs> A Caltech professor working in China has you covered. He's using a single piece of equipment, a modified toilet. Human waste is dropped in and hydrogen energy is produced for use in the home. It's designed for 40 uses per day and when perfected, it may be possible to power a whole home using only the excrement produced by the family within it. <laughs> Another model out of Nanyang Technological University called the No-Mix Vacuum Toilet separates the solid and liquid waste in a waterless vacuum system. The solid goes for fertilizer and the liquid is converted to energy. Inside of human urine is nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, all used for making energy. And by the way, if you have passed middle school science or above, you are likely aware that farts contain methane which, like the bacteria with the cows, can be collected and used for power. And it's not just in-home use. It's in communities that shoot their waste through pipes to a central plant, that plant could use that to make power too. Scientists at the South Korean Research Institute for Science and Technology discovered rather than using vegetable oils as a biofuel base, just cook up some crap. Seriously, their poopy method involves heating the contents of a wastewater treatment plant to extract lipids from the waste. Ugh but from those lipids, biofuel. So remember, next time you're sitting there, before you flush, consider how much power you could be creating from your own waste. What a crappy deal that would be. What do you think of this? Tell us in the comments below and click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more crappy D-News videos. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching.